We're still looking at the important keywords and the important uh, vocabulary involving geometry, okay? And now uh, I want to have a look at congruence and similarity because those two terms I know are being used uh, inappropriately sometimes by some people, okay? So check my site explainingmaths.com for more resources and also all the other important uh, videos about geometry. Now, congruence. Congruence is a fancy word, guys. Uh, which means, if you like, exactly the same. Yeah? Exactly the same. So, if I have a triangle, for instance, this right angle triangle, 3 and 4, then a congruent triangle is a triangle which is exactly the same. So, also 3 and 4. That's congruent. Exactly the same. If I have a square, yeah, of length 2, then a congruent square is another square of length 2. Yeah? So they are exactly the same. If I would have a square of length, sorry, I should use two lines now, of length, uh, let's say, 3, are they congruent? No, they're not, because they are not identical. They are not exactly the same. Yeah? So if that is congruent. They need to be exactly the same. Yeah? The shapes need to be exactly the same. Good. Now, similarity. Uh, what is similarity? Similarity. It means the shapes need to be similar. Okay, similar. So not exactly the same. Yeah, but how, hang on a minute. Similar, but in proportion. So what does that mean? Well, let's go back to that triangle. Right angle triangle, three and four. Then a similar triangle. It can be bigger. But it all needs to be in proportion. So if this one is 6, that one has to be 8. So for similar triangles, or yeah, in this case triangles, the corresponding angles, so this angle corresponds with that angle, will be the same. And the right angle is the same as that right angle. And this angle is the same as that angle. So the corresponding angles are the same. And the corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay, and in my future videos, I will talk more about similarity and how to calculate similarity or how to calculate lengths and angles. But that's important to realize the difference between similarity and congruence. Congruence needs to be identical, similarity, corresponding angles the same, uh, corresponding sides in proportion. Yeah, let's give me, or let's, let me give you one more example of similarity. Let's say I have a rectangle, uh, three and six. Then a congruent rectangle needs to also be a rectangle of 3 by 6. But a similar rectangle could be a rectangle of, it's not really going to fit, yeah, but um, let's say of 9 by, what do you think? 18, yeah, because it's 3 times as much, so 6 times 3, 18, okay? Now that is a similar rectangle. Good. Explainingmaps.com for more resources. Like and share this video if it was useful. Up to the next video where I'm going to <coughs> excuse me, where I'm going to talk about different types of quadrilaterals. Okay? I'll see you then. Bye bye.